what the fuck? Uh, there's obviously got to be another series. And then I read in like the paper a couple of weeks later, it was like, no more two pints. Do you know, done. we have got another series. Um, yeah, yeah. Written. Susan oh. Nixon's written it. Yeah, written. Yeah. Well, well, she's written it called Two Pints Last Order sort of thing. And the BBC said no. They don't want it. Why? We all, we all do it. BBC we all is coming back. So no, they both they, no, they said no as well. Really? So we think, well, I think what we need to do is put it onto a stream platform of some kind, whether it be Amazon Prime or anything like that. So we all just make it? So, yeah. Oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> do you want to see you know, these two Jews? No, we no, brought him not. back. We brought him back. I sent back. you the video. Oh, shit, on the beach. Sort of Sorry. You? Yeah. On, the, on the beach. Come on, Carl. On the beach. As if you don't know that, even I know that. Dan knows it. Johnny Schumacher's alive. Exactly. That was my name. That was my name. Yeah, so we brought him back to life just so we could then go right well now we can do you know where are they now sort of thing Se several questions <laughs> yeah go first one uh just to let you know up front and we'll talk about this afterwards we will fund and make it <laughs> <laughs> yeah get yeah. okay, that sweet sweet patreon never mind about your savings That's what we can do for our patreon we'll do a scene every episode one scene from the new series <laughs> there you, go. you have to pay 10 quid to see it <laughs> Like Secondly, <clears throat> please, I don't even care if I carry a crate in the background yeah, holding with him. We've got it. I've please. got to be an extra yeah, at some point. Can, and thirdly, that, right, right, here's something I've always wanted to ask you. We're going to say barman, but you wouldn't be able to see you over the bar. <laughs> 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 I'm not that small. I'm deceptively not small. That's what he always said. I thought said. you were stood up now. <laughs> <laughs> I am, Funny. but I'm, I'm taller than I look. I'm far away. Um, I, I'm 5'9 or 5'11 on Tinder, oh, depending good, on uh, good, who yeah, you ask. Yeah, yeah. So here's something I wanted to ask you. If you don't yeah. mind, I don't know whether you've discussed this on on your no, show. Right. What was it like for you and for you, I suppose, when you left the show and it carried on? It was gutting, actually. It was yeah. difficult. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It, it it's a weird one, really. It felt. I look back now and I'm like, yeah, it feels like a mistake. Was it your call? Yeah. And you felt, I've gone as far as I want to go with it. and Yeah, look, I mean... I, I he went to Hollywood. I've got regrets. On that. <laughs> and he's back! <laughs> I, 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 and I came back very... Hollywood's quickly. calling! Yeah. And, and, I go back and to wrong like, call. And I was like, oh, Hollywood, you, you were calling. Yeah. <laughs> just the wrong number. Um, <laughs> what happened now? Because when you got shot, there was a vote to see whether you lived or died. Did you just say you'll carry on? That um, wasn't how he left, though. No, 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 no. But I'm saying you carried on afterwards. What happens if... Will, Will... We know, know, you know. <laughs> no, well, it's a good, it's a good, well, honestly, it's a good question because they were like, so we're going to get you shot at the end of a series and then we're going to have this vote to decide whether you should live or die. Isn't that fun? And I went, what if people all say I should die? And they went, oh, we didn't think of that. <laughs> like, well, fuck it. And then and nobody like nobody even addressed, there was no plan B. Yeah. So if, they, if everyone had voted so in no, my head, you I were, just wouldn't have come back. In my head, you were wanting to leave, well, not wanting to leave. but No, no, not at all. That was just like a bit of fun okay. for, for fan interaction. No, um... There's a run corn shooting on two pints of log and a packet of grass. Yeah. Just oh, did it. But did someone castle. watch the he, he wire just, and get a bit carried away? That was the first crossover the other day. It was uh, uh, two pints and Brookside. They did a crossover <laughs> yeah, exactly, there. Yeah. Jimmy Corkill turned up and was like, you phoned the busies, bang. What yeah. did you have in your hand? I was buried under the fence. thought it was a gun. <laughs> a crunchy. <laughs> yeah, they, it's they just said, a crunchy. Yeah, they went, they went, put the gun down. I went, <laughs> I went what? I went, it was right on the top of by, by the castle. I'm going, what? And all the... It was a helicopter. Like, it was amazing. It was a fucking yeah. police helicopter. And uh, they blew the budget on it. We didn't get paid. Um, <laughs> and uh, and they went, put the gun down, Mr. Keon. I went, what gun? They went, there's a gun in your pocket. And I went, gun? Oh, no, this is just a crunchy, which is just so stupid. <laughs> and I pulled out this crunchy. And <clears throat> shot, him, shot. Yeah. And that was the end of the, the, end of the series. I mean, it, was, it was good, wasn't it, to be fair? You, I, we did I, some brave I things don't, on We two did points. some mad things on Two Pints. And I don't think, if I'm really honest, that I appreciated how good it was at the time. I did. When it when it finished, I I cried. The last the last episode we filmed it, and yeah. um, the the scene where you see uh, Gaz and Donna at the airport, we'd already pre shot that, so we did the studio audience stuff, and then we came out and watched it sort of with the audience. We had a bit of a glass of champagne. It finished, and the audience all stood up clapping. And I looked round at the sets, and I thought, we're not going to do this again. Yeah. And it proper hit me. Yeah, I got all upset and was crying, and my, my wife run down from the audience and hug me and stuff. And it was just weird that I didn't see it coming, that it had that much effect on me. That I'm not going to do this again. How long did you do it for? Ten, ten years. You did it for ten years. Jeez. I did it for seven. Nine seven. series, ten years. Uh, but it was, it was the, it was the end. It was a natural end. But it's just when you realise. I said to Susan Nixon the other day because she came on the pod, um, and she, her and Catherine come on, and, and we was, and she, I was saying to her, what happened to the sets and all the. They just burnt, they burnt them. No, they just and it that. killed me. I was yeah, like, yeah, what? Yeah, they're not. 
I have this image in my mind that they're stuck, they're stuck away somewhere in case we come back. And do you know what occurred to me? Side note: as we were, as I was on the way to Runcorn today on the on the train, we never asked Susan, and I'm still desperate to know what is that lyric? Is it flakies, KPs? Like no one knows. It's flakies, isn't it? It changes, though, doesn't it? It's KPs. It? It's nuts, isn't it? No, no, no it's not. It's like with a packet of nuts. Wasn't it plain cheese? You're supposed to be a fan. Plain no, cheese. He thought plain it. Plain cheese. No, I thought it was flakies in the first like four seasons. Then it changes to plain cheese, doesn't it? I don't, I don't KPs know. Christmas I don't know that the song's changed. I, I don't know that anyone what actually knows the answer. Going on? So the end so of that, the end a, of the intro a song is I'll have a pint of lager and a packet of crisps, please. And a pack of flaky KPs. It's not nuts. Plain <laughs> cheese. But I thought it was flaky. So yes, I thought please. It we used like, to fin- no one knows. We used to finish scenes and we go. Mm, da, mm, da, mm, da. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> while, while we was on, while we was in front of the audience, so we go. I love it. Yeah. That's that scene complete. We go. Mm, da, mm, da, mm, da. <laughs> oh. <laughs> we walk off. Yeah, yeah, it was fun. Uh, I, I don't think I realised it was as good as it was, and as brave and as, as. Um, yeah. I mean, everyone knew it was silly, but it was silly in a kind of like a really. Uh, uh, fearless way. I think and it's I don't the think type of that. the and type of telly yeah. that hasn't been made for a while for me. No. And like for me and him, sort of being 17, 18, 19 and being from Liverpool. And although Runcorn, you know, is, is a different town to Liverpool and whatever, especially the scenes with you two in the pub. Yeah. yeah. And watching you, you were just us, but on the like, because there was no like, it, it felt real. The type of things you would say to him and he would say to you as uh, in your characters. We invented were, the were, pie. Oh, yeah. We, we said that to them. They were always our favourite scenes, weren't they? Well, like the number of times we were... Like working class really. comedy that doesn't punch down. Yeah, yeah please. That we're we, like, oh, aren't yeah. they? They're thick. Like, yeah, well, yeah. it was just like... They, they, we there just, was not even any yeah. question of that. It was like, this is what lads talk about in the pub. Just yeah. nonsense. Just absolute nonsense. Oh, we're doing very well with well, that <laughs> chat. Yeah, yeah well, <laughs> you know... Just talking about like who invented the pie and why, and yeah. a lot of wanking chat, which, as we know, is not what lads talk about at all. Um, but yeah. you know, um, so yeah, yeah I, I don't think I realised it was as good. And when I left, yeah. uh, to be honest, it wasn't because I was like, oh, I'm going to Hollywood. Although it was like, well, I might, as, I'll give that a, a roll of dice because why not? But it was more, um, it was, I'd grown when I was 18, 19, 20. It's like, you know, things like empires had crumbled like uh you know robbie williams had left take that and so on it wasn't like that's not even the right analogy i just thought maybe it's time to move on and i think that was a really bad choice looking back Uh, it didn't uh it wasn't like a it wasn't like a career ruining thing to do but i was like why don't i just carry on with the guys like we were having such a good time and for some reason Kind of it was never the same as well. For once, some reason, once I broke he left, up the band. It, it started to slide. I think the and show. So, and sometimes, you know, you leave <clears> something like that because there's some tension or people aren't getting. There was a lot of negative press around it as well. If you got to remember, well, that's there, true. There was a lot of people that didn't. You know, they, they sort of. It was a bit of a. What would you say? It was a, 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 sla, a, a, a slanderous word to say. You liked two pints. You know, there's, there's we, de- we had a, a massive snobbery. following. There was, there was a snobbery, snobbery around snobbery. it. People used to refer to it, if anything, as a guilty pleasure. I fucking hate that term. Yeah, it's yeah, like, exactly. No, if people like it, they like it. But look, to be honest. As well, God, this is like therapy. I've never really talked about this this much. But since you ask, I came from the royal family, which was the most, which was my big break in, in TV. Incredible most, as well. It was the most well-received. It would be harder, other than The Office, it would be harder to imagine a more overnight, huge success that was adored by everyone. And I did that, and all the critics loved it. And it was like, ta-da, and I hosted the first ever GQ Awards. Uh, the host, first ever GQ Men of, the Year Award, Men of the Year Awards I hosted at 21 years old. It was insane. Um, and then... And then started Two Pints, and it was great fun, and everyone loved it, but the critics fucking hated it. And I remember G- GQ went, yeah, we, nah, we don't want you back because you're in that show and we think it's shit. Like, I remember that. And that, Fuck that, that, me. that always, I guess, stuck with me. So even though I loved doing the show, I loved hanging out with my mates, and we did you all felt that. felt sneered at? I felt a bit sneered at having come from something that was so universally adored. And I look back now, and I wish I'd have just gone, I don't give a shit. But, yeah, I, but I, I cared too much about that in a way that I really regret now. We, like, we've got... With Have A Word, we've got so many comedians who love this. And we've got, we're in a position now because of the listenership and how big it is. We've given our comedian mates the chance, come on, have a go. And, you know, they notice their t- We've had comedians tell us, this is better than doing telly. Mm. Like for sales and new followers and stuff like that. And it's amazing to be able to give them that. But we also know there's a, a sect of the comedy industry who are like, You've seen what we've done in the first half here. Like, we're talking about stuff <clears> that some people are like, oh, you're talking about that for 15 minutes. It's like, 
We're just having a laugh. Yeah, we're sitting exactly. here, we're having a pint with our mates and talking. That's why we called yeah. ours two pints, because the idea was, like you say about us in the pub, it's just like, just we really, really just wanted to transplant what we would sit and dick around and talk about in a pub. And sometimes it's football, sometimes it's... Sometimes, yeah, sometimes it's, it's mental sometimes health. It's you know what I mean? Sometimes we, go, we do health. go in with stuff like we'll, that. We'll talk, we'll did a, uh, we did a whole episode during lockdown and Will lost his dad and uh, he talked really, really openly and honestly and really generously about it. And it was quite incredible. Like... It's not. It's not all wanking. No, yeah. I, I, mean, I don't. I think if you don't do that honestly, yeah. if you're not yourselves on podcasting, I think people sniff it out. And I think. The, I think the old style of entertainment, like, hey, this is my character, this is my shtick. Yeah. They're not going to work yeah. in this new in this new format of of long form honest podcasting yeah. because if you try and bullshit people that listen to podcasts, they're like, nah, I can fucking hear that you're a, yeah, a just, fake. Yeah, just I think you've got to oh, for it's all thinking, the moments yeah, of yeah. like we take the piss and we go past the line we've talked about all sorts of like honest stuff about like our lives our history and everything it's massively important you know, i feel a little bad i think i was part of that snobbery against two pints and i and it's weird now that we work so closely obviously we've become best mates and the the adoration they look the love that these 10 years younger than me i was a bit older um i have we've watched clips in here and I've watched it through a different lens. Yeah. I've watched it through the lens of my respect and love for Carl and Adam, yeah. who love your that show. And we just watched the clip before, and I was like, "That's yeah, a f- fucking well, you know funny what? clip." To be fair, but when I was so twenty three, when I was twenty three, yeah. twenty four, I was like, <clears throat> I was, I was like the mighty Boosh. C- curb me your too. enthusiasm, me you know, too. like yeah, yeah. Me well, too. that's fine though, isn't it? Yeah. That's what I mean. It's, it's it's subject to opinion, and I think that's that. It does divide opinions when you've had that kind of comedy. But we had the following we did have yeah. was. They was they they adored it. You know what I mean? It wasn't like we liked it. They loved it. Yeah. But then the people who didn't like it hated it. So that's it's you know, like this pod. It's kind of like the pod. Yeah, yeah. But also, and not to go too sort of political on it, and I I don't like bringing up sort of oh it's about this and whatever, and I'm not lumping down in with this. There's an there's definitely an element of classism to it. There just is. Mm-hmm. There's an element like working class people will have loved that show because yeah. it is literally, uh uh. A documentary of their lives. It's yeah. I work in a garage. My mates unemployed. We're always having maids with our beds. Yeah, like a hyper. But we can sit in the pub and yeah, talk yeah. about who invented the pie, yeah. and exactly. it gives you a break from. My butler your, loved your it. Yeah, my yeah. butler <laughs> loved it. <laughs> <laughs> but I was like, yeah, yeah, yeah. You can yeah. watch it downstairs. Yeah, exactly. Get downstairs. more cake. Yeah, <laughs> walk in the walk fridge. in the fridge, Michael. <laughs> yeah.